Hey, it's Replay, everyone, and hold on a second. Something miss is missing here. Tim? Bump. Ba-da-dum. Thank you. Bump. We're playing Indiana Ba-da-dum. Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Bump. I'm your host, Ba-da-dum. Andrew Reiner. Today, I have Joe Bump. Juba here. Ba-da-dum. Hey. Ba-da-dum. Hey, you sound a little soft. I'm just like, the, the Tim's not Ba-da-dum. kicking in the music right. It's, I mean, yeah, he Ba-da-dum. took it from the top. Yeah, the Most Ba-da-dum. people just know the melody. He yeah. took it from the top. Ba-da-dum. I got Matt Burns here. Ba-da-dum. Hey, man. Hey, you're a big fan of this, you told me, so we had you to be in this, which is awesome. And then... Tim, you can stop now and introduce yourself. <laughs> My name is Tim. Now go back to <laughs> the game. We are going to get to it, get to it, press start. All right. Very, it is, so, is very, very Mystery Science Theater 3000 of you there. Oh, thank you. So this is developed by The Collective. They did the Buffy the Vampire Slayer game that uh, Dan Reichert had problems playing. Hmm. Didn't they do Mark Echo too? Uh, getting Up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do we want to start a new game or are we going to go straight into butts? We okay. should start a new game. Okay. Do you want to go straight um, Jason, into did butts? you enter butts? That's Jason. He's been Eastraker. known for entering butts. That's every time we do butts. Can you do Dr. Butts? Um, Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm sure. This or, is, you know, we could just start the game. The people want to see this, Joe. <laughs> also, Burt's, it's it's good to have you on a replay, man. Yeah, this is like my third one, maybe. Yeah, I feel like, was it like <laughs> winter San, sports was it San Andreas? or something? Yeah, San Andreas was my last one. Because every time I go to do one of these, everything breaks. It's a technological disaster. That's, uh, that's my history. So. Everyone's like knocking it's, on wood, crossing it, their fingers right now. It's your fault. Uh, this game came out in North America on February 24th, 2003 on Xbox. Later came out on June 26th on uh, PlayStation 2. Also came to Macintosh and PC. In the same year, people are clamoring for their indie third-person action games. Man, I, it's so weird. We should have these games every two years. Yeah, it's the most mismanaged brand that's perfect for video games I, that I can even think of. The other thing yeah. that's really confusing about it is that people are constantly talking about how big indie games are right now, and I don't see any indie games. Like, I just see all these weird <laughs> games, like about puzzles <laughs> and like horror games and stuff. It's just like I don't even really think what they know what they're saying when they say indie games. You know? Yeah. No, I agree with you, Tim. You're totally right on. <sighs> right. Okay. <laughs> No, I think I, I think Burt's is right because like you look at games or like properties like Superman, which I mean, yeah, those have crappy games, but there aren't a ton of them coming out. There have been, you know, they've people have been consistently attempting indie games and just kind of yeah. My favorite indie games are uh, Uncharted and <laughs> Tomb Raider. They're really good Indiana Jones games. Yep, they're just missing one key thing. Yeah, Harrison Ford, short yes. round. Oh, short I mean round. Harrison Ford. Oh, and you just. Uh, I reviewed this game back in the VA and gave it an 8.25. So it's a good game. It's a oh, fun wow. game. But guess what button jumps, by the way? It is B, which is very strange. <laughs> were you trying to duck with it or roll? Oh, man. They are, this is Sorry, this is whoa, rap. What are you doing? We're off to a good start. Whoa, right? whoa, whoa. Okay. Sorry. They're, they're, Adventure. <laughs> they're doing like a onslaught of tutorial here. Um, uh, it has a big tutorial, but it's going to show off a lot of the game. That's good. Well, come on. I can't play a video game and not go behind here, right? Yeah, this is totally ripping off Uncharted. The only thing I didn't do look so at far... Look work those legs. Look at, look at that. Uh, 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 yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway. I feel like some right said Fred should be playing in the background. <laughs> when I wake up... Is that the right one? I want to be... <laughs> the, is that man, shrine is necessary that for that little no, thing? No, it's not right said Fred That's, at all. Uh, what is that? Are you thinking of the Proclaimers? Yes. Yeah, I am. Right said Fred is... Uh, too sexy. Yeah, for, exactly. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. The proclaimer. Like, why would, why would I would walk, walk 500, 500 miles, miles in Indiana oh, no, Jones? I, I guess that does work. That does work. And the 500 mile journey. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me not to have Tim as my partner for a 90s trivia night. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Actually, one of the first CDs I ever owned was Hollywood Soundtracks. And it had like the crying game and, um, and proclaimers on it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and the bodyguard song. The first, the first CD I, I got. I could see why you went to metal. After that. <laughs> the first one I got was such a '90s CD. The first CD that I ever bought was Crash Test Dummies. God shuffled his feet, like bought it with my own money. Really? Yep. Was it a mistake? No. Were you I liked blindfolded? it. No. I like. Look, I like that mm, song that they that they lower did. lower octaves. Well, look, I can't do it while I'm talking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the whole song, right? He does that for like five and a half minutes. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, that's what I remember of it. 
That yeah. was a creepy song. I always pictured him as like looking through a peephole while he was <laughs> singing about all those people. And the cover like, of that album was like those old Game Informer pictures with our heads on like famous pictures. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It totally was. Yep. Yep. Joe. Well, well, I mean, are you going to do that jump? <sighs> no. They want me to take damage. Oh, do it. Wait. Do it. Oh, yeah. Oh. I refilled my canteen. That was pretty exciting, actually. Well, yeah. I mean, the key part of the Indiana Jones fiction is him getting parched. And quenching. And the old deal parch and quench gameplay loop is uh, important. Good thing you got a machete too, because it's like it's precursor like, to the mark whoa. and execute system. Yeah, mark and execute, parch and quench. All part so, of the same system. Who here played Raiders of the Lost Ark on Atari 2600? Oh, me. That game was awful. I probably played that more than any game on Atari. Really? Trying to, trying to solve really? that thing. Oh, wait, no, I thinking. played the other Indiana Jones game called Pitfall. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh the i'd say that raiders of the lost ark or i'm sorry um the fate of atlantis was the uh that's, that's the high the water adventure yeah. Game. Yeah. yeah see the indie game that i've played the most is the was the pc adventure game for the last crusade oh really yeah which i mean another it's, it's another lucas arts one i mean it, it it does the same has that same sort of like verb object that one was bundled in with a lot of Star Wars games in those LucasArts packs, right? Remember when they used those to sell awesome. like five CDs at once? Yep. Mm. We got one of those in the office. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I really well, like Last guys. Crusade, actually. But here's an iconic moment. Here's Wait, last okay. gen whip technology. Yeah. Okay. Look. Good. Whoa. That was weird. <laughs> Ever want to see the bottom of an adventurer's shoe? <laughs> And what was the one that Bam. was supposed to come out this gen and got canceled? I think it was just called Indiana Jones. Yeah, I actually, title, right? I, I saw that game at LucasArts. Like, I got a demo of it out there. Or was it going to um, be Staff of Kings that came out on Wii? No, that was a different one. No, I mean, no, no, no. That, that, that was supposed to be the same game. Really? Yeah, like, Staff of Kings was... The, a disaster piece. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, I think that was the... That was the Wii version of the game that they were developing, but I guess I don't know if that was... I think, I think it was renamed Staff of King of Queens, I think is what they ended up going with eventually. I don't think anybody liked that joke, Tim. Oh, yeah. thanks, Reiner. <laughs> Real that was the first game, one of the first games we saw the natural motion euphoria engine working in, though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was hilarious because they were like on a bridge or something. And yeah, well, and, that, and that's the thing is that like it seemed... It, it made for some cool imagining like wow that could make a cool indie adventure but then every time that i saw that ga the actual game in action like the combat like, like i don't know indiana jones isn't about just like entering a room and beating up a bunch of what? thugs constantly you know as uncharted shows like that's well uncharted's a lot of guns though too what oh so he's grabbing you he's really strong it prompted me for my machete when he, he grabbed me like that you're like just... six two or six three <laughs> come on tim machete him yeah, I don't even know. Would Indy is that even his style? No, no. He he would just punch him. He's a brawler. Well, he shoots people too when he has to. That Oof. is not Indy style. No, it's not. Oh wow, that guy can take a lot of machete hacks to the chest, though. Can I like punch him off of there or something? Is it okay? He can okay. he can straight he up die. Himself? Oh my knee! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm oh. still amazed we have so many games that have disappearing corpses. Yeah. Yeah, I hope that changes with the next gen and also loading times. Like, I feel we, we. Naughty Dog does it. There's a load at the beginning of the game and then there's no load after that. I'm fine mm. with that. We yeah, should be the, done with loading times. The right? Last of Us loading time is really long. Have you guys noticed that? Yeah, yeah but you get all those spores. Which is really yeah. cool. See, like, like five I, minutes. It's like a Grand Theft Auto load, right? I beat Last of Us in like two or three sittings, so I didn't, it, I didn't really notice that much. That's nice. That'd be a good way to do that. Yeah. So I should be able to get some health back if I drink out yeah, of this. Some water. Do you good? Take a little sip. <laughs> oh, he's got to take a there long. We go. There we okay. go. That's more of a sop. All right. What was the worst healing mechanic of this generation? I have my. Which one? Was healing yours? mechanic, like uh, uh, like a health pack or. Self regeneration. Mm. The worst one for me was the getaway where you had to lean against the wall oh for a God. half an hour to have your guy recover. Oh. Last generation. What about Army of Two? Didn't they have like tampons or something? They did something? in the original version. We actually, okay. Ryder and I, played through the whole game, and then they can't. They delayed the game, and they took out a bunch of stuff, including the uh, the tampons. homoerotic tampon sequence. <laughs> you would basically uh, go into this like 
blacked out kind of. It looked kind of romantic. You know, it was just okay. you and your buddy, and you would apply a tampon into his wound. Huh. And that's something they said they actually got from, like, war stories. Like, yeah. the mercenaries, I mean, they'd I, carry these tampons. I'm not assuming that themselves. someone, like, lost a bet, and it's like, okay, Larry, you figure out how to incorporate a tampon into the game. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, I believe that they have that they have actual real-world world utility, but if you're trying to make, like... <laughs> Like a bro shooter, you do not have your main characters applying tampons. To like each every other. ten minutes. in a romantic, yeah. like blacked out scene where the environment fades away and it's just you two. Yeah, I mean that's Is just that kind how it of. They yeah. should release that game at some point. The original version of that. Remember the hydro plane thing? Oh, there was so much stuff they cut out. Hydro. A lot of political talk they took out too. Yeah. We, still, we must still have that somewhere, right? That that bill has got to be in the office. <laughs> Maybe. I mean. I know it's here somewhere. The question is just finding it in all those boxes. Know, sounds boxes. like a job for interns. Yeah, yeah. Our, our, yeah. our filing system is not dozens fantastic. of boxes, giant boxes that you can barely lift because they're so heavy, filled with old ROMs and discs and all sorts of old games that old versions of games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we even have uh, the famous NBA Elite Eleven. Yeah, we have that there. Yeah. I wonder if EA will actually get theirs out this time. Oh, yeah, that's coming back this now, isn't it? Yeah, and the demo they had at E3 was a guy dribbling. That's it. That's all they had. Well, that's master of the fundamentals. Are they, Burtz, are they trying to get it out this year? I think, I mean, I think it's, there's a, a 360 or PS4 launch bundle that has EA Sports games in it, and that's one of the EA Sports games. Oh, I can't wait to see how that turns out. Okay, best Indiana Jones movie. Uh, Crystal it's Skull. Raiders. Oh, uh, Reiner, you're just... No, I'm, <laughs> I'm trolling you guys. Yeah. Raiders yeah, I mean, of the Lost Ark. No one says Crystal Skull. I, no one says Temple of Doom. I, I love say, Temple of Doom. I, I'm a defender of that. I love all three, to be honest. Raiders is yeah. the best, and then I do Temple second. And I know people are all like, no, 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 Cru Crusade is, is the second. Or, a lot of people say Crusade is the best, too. Yeah. I, see, I don't think... I Every time I say that... Because like, I think Last Crusade is the best. But every time I say that, I feel like I'm shouted down in favor of Raiders. I so. think that I can I can see an argument for Crusade for sure. I mean, it's got like the Sean Connery stuff in yeah, there. It's great. It's fantastic. It's really funny. And uh, like the payoff of, at the end is great. Yeah, all of the stuff with like I think the artifact actually looking for the Grail is you know pretty awesome. Shimmy, Though shimmy, it, shimmy. Oh, well, Andy. And oh, they plus, want to do a special thing. it's got that scene. Like everyone always remembers that Nazi guy's face melting off in Raiders of the Lost Ark. But there's also that awesome scene where uh, in Crusade where Donovan like drinks from the wrong grail and then he turns super old and decrepit and like yeah. skeleton like into a mummy. That part was awesome. Yeah. I, th I felt Last Crusade was more of a roller coaster ride of a movie. It was like a proper summer blockbuster. Mm -hmm. Raiders of the Lost Ark had a different pacing to it. You know, it felt mm -hmm. almost more like an indie movie, I Press guess you y. would say, than <laughs> indie Y or indie IE? Both. <laughs> Hold forward. There oh, you go. Oh, there he goes. Ooh, look at him. Yeah, and Temple of, the, Temple of Doom is just dark and sinister and creepy. And yeah, I really like that. I thought it was a nice change of pace for the series. And Last Crusade kind of got back to that uh, theme of the first one a little bit. It's but, a little more lighthearted. Yeah, and the artifact. But like Bert said, it it, it felt like more of a, a blockbuster. Yeah, I just, just, I just, I just, I just busted a block. Well, no what about deal. Crystal Skull? Uh, <laughs> there's some good moments in that not really are there the silhouette when he's coming out of the car and puts on his hat that oh, was sweet so, and, okay so one one on, three second clip else. i can think yeah good three seconds and when he looks at the picture of his father that was pretty good when it was just him and his his uh okay his office all right so we got about 15 seconds of good footage in that movie. Okay. So here's like, have they, have they confirmed a new indie movie? Like, is that happening or supposedly they're writing the script and now, now here, here's the question that I fear the answer to is Shia LaBeouf. Like <laughs> I coming think so. Back. Yeah. I think they, they love that character. Uh, all right. Good for them. Someone had to. <laughs> <laughs> Way to champion the underdog. Uh, I, I, aren't they just going to give it to J.J. Abrams and let him redo it like every <laughs> other LucasArts movie? I'd be all about that, actually. Wait, where does Hack go? Oh, good question. 
Uh oh. Turn um, it off, guys. You broke the game, yeah. Tim. You broke his hat. Is it like Mario where I take double damage if I don't have it on? Wait, maybe. Oh, there, there he puts it back on. Good. Okay. So I'm noticing something's missing from this indie game, and that is story. Ah, uh, he's going to look for something. I think <laughs> okay. I, I. So don't worry. It's <laughs> that is part of the game at least. What if this pulls out and it's his mansion, like Laura Croft's training ground? Hmm. No, he's in Ceylon. We know that, right? Oh yeah, they showed the airplane. Or no, they just kind of zoomed in on the map, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't do the red line. Dun, 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 oh yeah, I think dun, dun, they did that. Dun, dun, dun. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Well, Ooh, here's a pitfall moment. I want to shoot that guy. Yeah. Sorry. I think they want me to do something else, but oh god. <laughs> shoot him. Uh, this what, how, that's, what the odds? that's not going to work. 0%. Yeah, you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, he hated that. Okay. So I think I just have to jump into this vine. You have one more bullet. I'll put it away. And here we go. Hey. Oh. oh, all right. Great. It's a good thing you brought that machete. Yeah, I know. Or found it. <laughs> he wasn't even fully prepared. <laughs> he would have to like shoot it with his gun. Yeah. I always wonder if those things are kind of like little load buffers. Mm. You know, you have oh, to sit there be. and hack this for a oh, couple right. seconds. I think, yeah. they, I think they just legitimately thought that was fun. And That's we, another thing that needs to go away this generation is those doors where you have the characters get together to open up a big door. Yeah, or the slow walk. Like the last Gears, of, not the last one, Gears of War 3. I felt like I did that for half the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I will say though, I still prefer, okay. I prefer something in like, dead space i don't like it when you come up to a door and you have to like mash a button to open it while the right. game loads i don't mind in like dead space where you walk up to the door and you just have to wait a couple seconds at least you're still playing and stuff's happening Did you play you dead know? space three uh didn't no it's mostly doors and ladders okay but well but what i'm getting at is that like as annoying as like the slow walk and the long corridors or whatever are i think it's better than just like straight up black lo like blank loading screens in between areas right right, right. So. Yeah, I'd rather be doing something active, but it'd be nice if we didn't have any of that. I mean, I don't know. I think the odds of not needing loading in the next generation are small. <sighs> not buying these machines. <laughs> these they sound machines. terrible. Yeah. Sticking with, sticking with good old original Xbox. I Xbox the, One, I got the Wii. Will. What else do I need? <laughs> You're set. <laughs> you can play emulators all day. Man, uh, I've really gotten a good look at this area so far. So where are we going? Tim? I got the you know? I got the shotgun, and then uh, Jason motioned for me to jump off the ledge, and now I'm not really sure where to go. He kind of did this Obi Wan wave. I don't know if he was trying to. Oh, was he just saying he wanted to play Star Wars say game? Hi or yeah. Okay. What, up what up? It's kind of funny, you know. Now we have so many games that use lighting as a guide for players. You naturally, your eyes naturally gravitate to where the light is, mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah. that kind of serves as a guide for you. And you can see how that's useful. Because games like this don't have that. Mm -hmm. And we've come a long way fast, for sure, in uh, leading players through environments. Take a right. That's Indy's window. <sighs> yeah, I tried this little area before and didn't have any luck. Oh, Use wait, whip. Whip. Yeah, there's a whip part. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Jason wants me to jump down here. It seems like a good idea. Glowy alligator eyes. Keep your eyes peeled for those. Thanks, Jason. I'll be your mutt. Wait a second. Don't even... Can you edit that out, Jason? Yeah. I don't get it. Jason says okay. It just sounded weird to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something I want on record. Oh! Oh. Look out for gators. Uh, does he the music's going crazy. Does he run across gator heads at some point? Is that something I'm remembering correctly? Uh, in Temple of Doom, there was the bridge okay. where it collapsed and the bad guy got eaten by gators. Okay. Spoiler. Okay, guys, what do, you, what do you think the odds are that this game at some point has snakes in it? Oh, God. It has to be snakes. It has snakes and sharks, actually, if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. Is How do you think they is handle scared of sharks? This, well, hold on. I, is he scared of sharks, too? I don't think the fiction was ever... Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, Germany. I guess we don't know if he's scared of vampires no, either. No, it's just <laughs> snakes. It's just snakes because when he was a kid, he fell into that train car full of snakes. Well, yeah, but I mean, like... And there was that big, He's probably thing. also afraid of, like, man-eating sharks, even if he didn't have p- prior traumatic experiences with them. Ugh. Or we would just shoot it in the face. What? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Oops. Oh, out of ammo. Okay. Better whip them. Better. (laughs) Right (laughs) Right in the patootie. That's the Dr. Butts approach to combat. (laughs) That guy really hesitated for me. Oh, my God. Time for your exam. I see Dr. Butts is a surgeon. I want to kill the guy with the shotgun. Put that one to the ear. Wow. Yeah. Thankfully, these guys are... You're going to have to dunk your head in that water and... (laughs) I'm no, I'm oh! getting oh, getting owned. Get him! No, I'm leaving. Are you kidding drink, me? Drink, drink. Use want- your whip. You're no, Indiana drink. Jones. You have no. There you go. And you have no hat. Yeah, the hat is really the most tragic. Oh, part take of your this. time, Indy. Okay, Jason says, forget the machete for combat. Well, but you're out of ammo. You're not gonna. I mean, are you just you gonna gotta bang, use the whip? Bang, I can, bang, I can bang shoot shotgun him. Punch him. I mean, I'm sorry. I'll punch him. I'm sure that probably does like oh, get his shotgun. Wait. So using eh. fists is more effective than a machete that in happen- hand-to-hand combat? That happened to me in the... I, no, I don't want you to drink anymore, Indy. <laughs> <laughs> this is neither the time nor place, Indiana Jones. What are you doing? Parch and He's quench. doing that automatically. Okay. Okay. Punch him while he's down, like Indy. I like that they drop their weapon. That's nice, yeah. Oh, he's still alive. I don't think so, buddy. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> that was dramatic. It's totally worth play. it. Totally worth it. Pretty cool. Ooh, that was it. great. That was a great moment. That wasn't bad, no. Look at him. He's, He's reveling a- in that moment. So let's appraise what just happened there. Um, okay. Okay, so he was talking about the... Uh, hat. Hat. I, oh, can you, like, pick it up? That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It lets us know. <laughs> That's nice of them. Go get but some uh, water. Games that... Uh, Games that let you that way the fists are better than the um, the actual like weapons and stuff are uh, the saw games were terrible about that because you just stagger everybody by by attacking them and they never what? get a chance the saw games the what Konami's Zombie Studios saw based games there's two of them you Talk, had me review them talking about no, he's talking about the idea of that like fists using are better. fists is superior to using melee weapons yeah I'm just surprised you played two saw games you. I would not have had you not uh, signed me on those reviews. <laughs> they were very bad games. I'm sorry about that, Tim. It's all right. I've moved past it. Was that, that, was that your, a part of your <laughs> new guy uh, workload? Yeah. I Tim feel like, is our horror guy. I do like horror games. I'm happy. I'm Just like the uh, the dumb games we play on Super Replay, I'm happy to have played them. So to know to warn others, you know? It'll be like a public service announcement. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm sorry. I sent you all the way back there to get that. That's all right. Uh, we couldn't have known. It's not like all these areas look exactly the same or anything. I like adventure games that have a lot of exploration in them. I miss that about Tomb Raider. I like the new Tomb Raider a lot, but I really miss those giant caverns you'd go into with yeah. like a billion different areas you might be able to get to. You just get excited and kind of intimidated by and the prospect of it. Part of the fun was just figuring out where to go. I know people got frustrated, like, I got to look up a guide, but yeah. I liked being stumped. I'm trying to figure it out on my own. Okay. He's a good swimmer. The swimming, yeah, could be actually worse, I was going to say. Um, but I think in this game, just kind of reminds me of, like, you know, it's pretty basic so far. It reminds me of an N64 game. I would be perfectly fine with this kind of Indiana Jones game coming back. Yeah? Just maybe a little more Yeah, a little more polish, polish to it. Yeah. Better animation. So if you had an EA team work on this, who would who you would have work be? on? I think Visceral mm. could do a good job. Yeah, Visceral, the Dead Space guys. Yeah. Yeah, make it like Dante's Inferno. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the Crusade and stuff. It makes sense. What's his son's name? Mutt? Yeah. You could do Army of Two. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd would check that out at the very least. <laughs> the biggest disaster of all time. I, I wouldn't put dice on it because they just want to have it be a shooter of some kind. Or, you know, they could use their uh, Mirror's Edge technology to do some good uh, running away from the boulder. Or swinging through trees with monkeys. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That scene was just terrible. <laughs> I, put, I saw that recently on cable. I was like, wow. That was rough. I put Bioware on it. Get get, get the nice like story element of it. Oh, yeah. Choice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. 
Because, like, I mean, you, you watch the indie movies and, like, not there's not as much just, like, straight up combat as you might as you might think. Yeah. And the, the combat in Jade Empire is better than this. <laughs> That's now, true. Does EA have... Well, actually, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, it would be. Does EA have Indiana Jones as well, or do they just have Star Wars? I think they have the Luke's... Is it just Star... It might just be Star Wars. It might just be Star, Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> nice job, Tim. Yeah! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, <laughs> oh, no! This is like Metal Gear. They all cut... My kills are coming back. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you can there. go. All right. We can do this all day, bud. <laughs> oh, might, that was You really might cool. not be damaging him. Oh, you f did you fall on the spikes that time? Yep. Oh, okay, good. There's like a little... Yeah, how was he recovering from that? No, he's gone. Uh, but like before... He grabbed onto the ledge. Oh, okay. He's, he's more agile than you give him credit. I like how aggressive these enemies are. That's great. I mean, really, they, I don't know. I feel like Indy couldn't be that strong. He, The odds are always against him. He always... Yeah, he's an archaeology professor. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That's something. And okay, this is super lame, but I always wish that they would have that they would have fleshed out his sort of like academic position a little bit more. Mm. Like really? they they always have like one throwaway scene where he's like in the classroom or something. And girls like, have weird yeah, his, girls are yeah. fawning over him. Yeah, like I I think it'd be, you know, I'm not saying that I just want to like hour and a half lecture from Professor Jones, but although that'd be pretty awesome. Yeah, like a TED talk, just a yeah, thing. I mean <laughs> modern Indiana Jones. <laughs> Like, Did you guys ever watch a Young Indiana Jones Chronicles? Yeah, Ugh. I hey, like this. I like that show. I watched. There's a few. couple of Indi Young Indiana Jones games too. I also was maybe like ten when those were out, so I don't know how they held up over you, time. You weren't a really good judge for quality. There are no. decent, there, Joe. There are really bad episodes. I bought and there winter are games episodes. too. Okay, I remember. Uh, jump and grab. It. Nope. The thin ledge. Jason knows exactly where to go. See the thin ledge above. Right oh, ahead, above me. Look at him go! The thin ledge. That sounds like a Terrence Malick yeah, take on yeah, thin ledge. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he is, has a weird form. It, he's he needs to practice this more. Yeah. I think is what it comes out. He's to. doing he, too much of a pull up. Yeah, he, he, he's not he's not very sure. Oh man, we're making. I mean, this game. I guess Jason has been a huge help. We probably <laughs> would have gotten stuck up on a part like a classic replay style. And uh, we'll end this after the credits, after we do our second segment with a little tease of what else is in the game. There's a trailer at the beginning uh, that rolls after you're on the title screen for a bit that shows uh, some pretty cool stuff. Him fighting an octopus, shooting down airplanes. Yeah. Also, I just um, pulled that guy's gun out of his hand with the whip. It was That's pretty cool. awesome. I held it down, yeah. I mean, God, just... They got the more, like... This is really how a, a fight with a whip would go. Yeah. Like in real life, yeah. though, that, that part of it. But, like, it'd be, pretty, <laughs> it'd be pretty demoralizing if you were the guy that was just getting repeatedly whipped from, you know, yeah. like, at what several point feet you just away. run away? Yeah. Like, I want to I see, like, some weird situation where, uh, like, a crazy, like, masochist, like, gimp style person is in a fight with Indiana Jones and pretending that they, like, are having a bad time. Because S and M whips are a big part of S and M is basically where I'm going with that joke. And <laughs> wow! I'm gonna switch gears a little bit. You're a, you're a whip expert, Tim. What's um, that? You you love the Castlevania games. Oh, How yeah. does this whip stack up in terms of execution? Yeah, I mean if you were, if you were stacking up against the best video game whips, I yeah, like, I like the animation. It's not doing a lot of damage. What do you think, Tim? Um, I'd say that. You know, the animation is really solid. Uh, <laughs> he's more concerned with that box. I think that this is an accurate portrayal of how a whip would be effective in real life. I I don't think that you could kill this person with this whip in the amount of time given. I think when they fall over, they're passing out from just sort of pity. Okay, look, if you're I don't getting, think you're if, killing this guy. If dude. you're getting like like this guy has taken at least twenty full whips to the chest. Yeah, that's a, like that is enough to just shred his chest at this. Point. Yes, no, he would be in in rough shape, but or his shirt. No, I mean, his chest under his shirt. You think so? Oh, yeah. Assuming, right. assuming Indy has, has knows how to use his whip. Yeah. yeah. I'd say this is in the top 25 whips in games, probably. Okay. Maybe 30. What's number one? Oh, God, really? Uh, Is not Super Castlevania? Um, do not want to give it away in case oh, we ever do top 10 whips in the magazine. Yeah, you know, we yeah, do. We probably shouldn't give it away. We don't want to mind that. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that sounds pretty good, actually. <laughs> Oh, I want that gun. I think that's a that's a reader discussion. Whoa. How do you like your whips? <laughs> hey, they're twins. Okay, put that away. I want to fight you with my Fuck fists. Fuck on them. 
I don't know if I have any shells. Those guys look the same. Yeah, it's a Clone War. Oh, he picked up that weapon from the ground. Shit. So what do you guys think about uh, Harrison Ford coming back in the new Star Wars? That's awesome. I have no idea what the new Star Wars is going to be. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be kind of like Bruce Willis in current action movies where they don't do much action. They kind of just shoot people. Maybe introduce a new generation. Yeah. Uh, it'd be awful if they're trying to do all that stuff on green screens now. Like all the action and all that. Hey, it can't get worse. They, they, have, they have only up to go after the new trilogy. I mean, after Phantom Menace. They Especially, did get better. I mean, I don't know. Cause no. Like, you look at... Ryan, you look at... Uh, <laughs> like, when, 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 the, when the Emperor... Like, when Ian McDermott was supposed to be, like, lightsaber fighting... That dude clearly, like, was not in the physical shape he needed to be in in order to, you know... Do a lightsaber fight with Samuel right. L. Jackson. But they did cut off one of the character's heads, actor's heads, and put it on a younger person's body, and it looked really weird. And the Yoda fight, whoever Count Dooku was, what's his name? Uh, Christopher, uh, Christopher Lee? Lee. Christopher Lee, yeah. They cut his head off and put it on a younger actor's body. That was awesome. Wow. Uh, to try to make... And it looks really awkward if you know that. You should go back and watch that fight now. I, f forgot how he, I forgot how he dies, but you had me at cut his head off, and I was disappointed when you said put it on another actor's body. Yeah, sorry, Tim. Yeah, uh, well. Well, you like Frankenstein. That makes sense. Yeah. Doesn't he, someone get decapitated? He did chop his head off. Anakin did the did double he? cross. Yeah, he does. Yeah, so he did literally, and then also digitally. Then they put it on another. Yeah. And then put it back in the previous movie. That, like Gladiator. Space time. Is that okay. Gladiator that did that? We're at a loading screen. Are we done? Oh. Wow, Joe. <laughs> Just not like it. Oh, we might have story. Hold on. Oh, it's shifting to... Is this like a puzzle room? Nope. No story. Okay, we'll end it here. <laughs> I was into this. I was having fun. I, yeah, I mean, Jason was a great guide. He's been motioning at us to, to do all the right things. And, you know, I feel like we could have made some really good progress. You handled the whip very well, Tim. Thank you. The fighting looks like Memento. You keep fighting the same guy. It, it is inspired heavily by Memento. All right, let's move on to You're Doing It Wrong. Right, on this episode of You're Doing It Wrong, we're going to play Ikaruga without firing a shot to see who can get the furthest of us for uh, Game Informer people. Uh, we can switch the uh, color to absorb bullets, but we can't fire them back. So Matt Burtz is going to kick it off for us here. Are we just doing one life? Like, if you die? No, nope, we're doing a one game, so okay. however many default lives there are. And if we reach a boss, we're going to kick off a timer, and we can see who survives that boss okay. the longest, because obviously we can't defeat it. Unless maybe they have something built in where it runs out of fuel. Okay. Which would be really cool, but I doubt that's going <laughs> to yeah, happen. Yeah, no, that doesn't happen in the <laughs> That would be awesome. All right, Burtz, good luck. I suck at these games, so I'm going to set the low bar for you guys, and you can feel good about so yourselves. So he has the white shield on right now, and there's also the darker colored one, which I think is purple. Uh, hitting A button... Ooh. Hitting A button is uh, what switches the shield. Here we go. Enemies are going to start firing here in a brief second. It's music. All right. Intense, yeah. I love this game. Yeah, I have, I have some very fond memories. Of this. I have some fond memories of getting to the second level that one time. Yeah, <laughs> this is not an easy game. No. Oh no! Oh, oh no! It's backwards. <laughs> it's all right. Recover. Okay, nice. All right, so those are good. Oh, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just here. Oh my. Oh, boy. Oh. So we got to remember, guys. Okay, he got right there. Remember that? He's like halfway through that wave. <laughs> okay. I, I made it 10 seconds. That's the... All right, Joe, you ready? We'll right, this time just... beat my feet. I wonder, do we just I continue did. or do we... You no. got to start over, I think, because it'll, it'll pick you up right here, won't you? Won't Someone it? might die yeah. in that first area, by the way. Yeah, I'm looking possible. right at Joe right now. That yeah, was not... the first area, wasn't no, it? No, you got through that first one Joe, to chapter one. Joe just said he has room. fond memories. I'm a, I have a feeling that Joe might be the I've, ringer here. I've played some Ikaruga, but not... Not a bunch. Not pacifism runs probably ever. Right. Burtz, you didn't make the, the top. Oh, leaderboard. God, no. I know. Yeah. I told you I'm setting the bar really low. What? Oh, way back here? Okay, let's go. Start game. Good luck, Jill. I think I got further when I was just trying to figure out the controls a second ago. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, good luck, Jill. Okay, Let's see what you made guys. of. Let's see what we can do. Cool background. The... Yeah, the backgrounds of, on these top-down shooters were always one of the, like, always one of the highlights of playing them for me. I suppose it's so it's such a simple concept that they can pump the uh, power into that. They've never made a Star Wars game like this, have they? Or was there in Star Wars Arcade where you were as the Millennium Falcon? Ooh. I don't know if it was ever like straight up top down. That'd be, That'd be awesome. awesome. I think they kind of did third yeah. person one. Yay. You're going yeah. across like, oh, the Hoth battle? They'll make it a free to play game where you can buy whichever fighter you want. You start with a B Wing. <laughs> <laughs> the B Wing. No one ever. Wa- you, you know when the guy was assigned with the B Wing, he was like, damn it. <laughs> I at least wanted the Y Wing. Nice Ooh. job, Joe. Nice, Joe. Yeah, the Y-Wing at least had, a, oh, had bombing capabilities. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wow. Juba. Nice right. work. Holy crap. Okay, I beat birds. I'm not worst place. Yeah, Joe's in first place. Oh, God. This is going to be good. There's probably some, like, crazy good Ikaruga players watching this and just... Laughing. Yeah. Oh, God. I, I mean, have you seen those guys online that can, like... Uh, I, I know there's someone oh, that can I, play yeah. two players. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. Which is just insane. Joe, that was impressive. I think anyone yeah. watching would be like, wow. Oh, my God. You oh. threaded the needle with the best of them. Yeah. Then I just blew it. He bent the needle. <laughs> Look at that thing. The needle is blunted. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah. See, we're learning something here. Yeah, I guess we yeah, are. You guys. Slight advantage. You guys get the... The yeah. I wonder if it's just like. Oh, oh wow. All right. so that's not what I was expecting. That's Ran weird. into Princess Leia's ship. Yep. Seven. Remember that. All right. The Corellian cruiser, right? Yep. Okay. Look at the nerd bird on birds. That'll be an easy spot to remember. <laughs> I had the Star Wars encyclopedia when I was so did a I. lad. Yep. Yep. I also had a quote book. Uh, something about, like Let the Wookiee Win or Scruffy Looking Nerf Herder, I think the name of it. The Star Wars Encyclopedia made great bathroom reading for me. That was, yeah, it was. That's, that, that's, what I, that's what I used. That had all of, like, Heir, Heir to the Empire in that, too. Yeah, right? it had, yeah, yeah. It had expanded universe. Like, that's the only Dark reason. Empire. That's the only reason I know as much about the expanded universe as I do, because, like, I never really spent much time with it. I'm nervous. I am, too. I'm, like, starting to sweat, and I'm not on the sticks. This is Tim playing, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm going to die right here. I feel like I wish, I wish there was like a boost button. Don't hit anything. It kind of does a. the psych out thing too. When you're like, mm. you think they're gonna shoot. Yeah. Yeah, we're playing this on GameCube with the GameCube controller, and we can only hit the big giant green button, which is the A button, right? Or is it B? Yeah. Uh, it's it's A. I'm always amazed when people say that's their favorite controller they've ever used. I. Can... And then you that's... ask them what system they used and ever played, and they said GameCube. Yeah. It's the only system I've ever owned. My problem was those triggers. Would, if you played for longer than an hour, your hands would just yeah. be cramped. There's some good skills, Tim. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. Tim, nice and methodical. <sighs> All right. Hey, these yeah, guys I made shoot. it through that just by the skin of my teeth. So. Oh, these guys. The music's a little too serene for this. I think it needs, like, death metal or oh something. Oh, my God, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, this is very much like a Final Fantasy menu screen song. Synth. Wait, 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 where am I? Okay, all right, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Wow! Okay, Holy all right. Holy crap. God, man. this is really hard to focus on. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> God, that's really stressful. Okay. You're doing great. Thank you. What does this guy do? Oh, yeah, this. <laughs> Bring it on. I think he's the boss of this level. Oh, okay, here's the last shift. This part. And her doppelganger shit. This isn't, a, this right, isn't this, that hard. This. I just blew it. I just blew it right there. Okay. All right. Jeez. Uh, how am I doing? How am I doing? All right. I wonder if you got to kill these. Oh, God. Oh, wow. God. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh. oh. I think these need to blow up. All right. So that's it. No, keep going. Wait. Keep going. Did I earn a life? No. You no, you, you, you have a couple lives. lives. Yeah. You only died once. Oh. <laughs> Did you guys all die multiple? Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Times. Okay. Um, keep rocking. Did dude. I just make a terrible mistake? Okay. All right. Okay, good. So you don't have to kill those things. Uh oh. All right, start the timer. Oh, so am I fighting now? Yeah, no, it's just a, a matter of you staying alive longer. Oh, enough. really? Okay. What if I do it forever? It's a space robot. Then we'll, then we'll just declare you the winner. So there's a timer going. Someone's keeping. Yep. Okay. Oh, actually, there's a timer it's up there up on the corner. Oh, really? 
it's built into it. Does this switch around? I think you have to like shoot them in order to don't shoot. Progress this. No, no to... shooting. Okay. All right. Well, here we I'm are. Watching Tim. I don't think he's blinked. Oh, he switches it up here. So is that my cue? Oh, and now it switches to these guys. All right. I might vomit. I'm so nervous right yeah, now. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> going on. My stomach hurts. This Ada Reese's peanut butter cup. Tim's really keeping it together here. I think I just won one of these once. I don't want to get cornered. Tim, right. you've won a lot of these, right? I don't know. Oh. It seems to fit your style pretty well. Yeah, those. Supposed to juggle them? Uh, what's that mean? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 37 seconds. Man, he does, he does switch it. Oh, now, it's, now there's a bunch of stuff going. Oh, my God. What's happening? All right. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. There's a lot of things happening. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait, am All I right. still going? Yes. yes. 24 yep. seconds. All right. Uh, um, okay, those are that. Oh, God. Switch it up. Okay. Jeez. All right. Oh. oh, nice job! Eight All second right. mark. Eight seconds left on the boss. That's Let's the high water. Wait, he left on the boss? Yeah. yeah. Is it so you can just outlast them? I mean, I think you lose oh, if, if okay. it goes down. All right. That's interesting. I seriously feel like I'm gonna vomit. My heart's racing. I can't believe that. That was so intense. Dude. Yeah, I have doubts that Reiner's gonna make it that. <laughs> I think I did. Hey, come yeah. on! I, think, <laughs> I mean, I mean, go Reiner. I think I just did better in Ikaruga than when I attempted playing the XBLA one and, you know, played it regularly. I'm going to die right here. And he can't even die right here. Okay. Oh, God. Good luck. Controls are nice. Yeah, I don't like the analog stick that yeah, much, but it's it works. I mean, I'm it works for what it needs to do. Oh, God. What's happening? At least it doesn't make you use the C stick. Oh, Ugh. I wasn't embarrassed right there. That's good. Now, now it starts. All right. So I got to get to eight seconds. What did the countdown start at? Ninety-nine. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't know like what these little bird guys. I don't know oh. what happened. <laughs> is that your Arrested Development chicken noise? Oh, I guess it kind of is. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna start mixing it up here. My goal, I've always wanted to beat this game. Oh, oh my what? God! What happened? Did it get blocked by the other yeah, ship? Yeah, it did. I made that look so cool. <laughs> that was that was insane. What are these? Okay, nice. Looks like it's kind of like absorbing okay. them. Wow, that really oh, are, Do you absorb brain. dots and those are what go towards... Because something's building as your... Um... Yeah, I think the absorb dots are the yeah. That's cool. You're doing well. Nice work. Oh, wow. Sorry for the sound. Son. Good job. Seriously, fighting puke. Some, there's some Trey Parker going on there earlier. Wow, those are fast. Do your worst. I mean, we should soak that up. Get an extra life. Is that what that means? I don't know what it means. It's right by the life counter, so... I am seriously sweating more than an NBA, NBA <laughs> player at a free throw line right now. Oh, runner. Oh! Whoa! There's like some fudge room in there, I think. Well, you did officially beat me already. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, this is that's the tricky part right there. Nice, nicely done. <laughs> Here we go. Oh man, Here what go. a showdown for the ending, Tim. Yeah, you got to the boss. Lens flare. Very nice. We'll still be friends after this, okay? I promise. It does start at 100. Oh, okay. Did it, like, really just get really hot in here? Mm, no. Yeah. It I did. mean, it's, it's always hot in the replay room, but no hotter than normal. It's staying hot in here. I'm going to bomb it. Oh, my God. And this isn't even the crazy parts of this game. Yeah. Is it eight it's seconds? First level. <laughs> 70 seconds to go. Come on, Ranger. I'm a little worried. I think I think Reiner might take it. He has two lives or one life? Two. Two lives. I think I had died. Tim got two lives. To, or he got here with one death. Yeah, I died during the big freighter part. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to eat those little white things. They look delicious. 
Like popcorn, yeah. Like marshmallow and cereal. Now what are you doing? Those are those ice cream dots they sell at baseball stadium. Yeah, the future mm. of ice cream. Dippin' dots. No, the ice cream of the future. Oh god, 40 seconds. I'm in a bad spot! Yeah, this gets really tricky here. Uh, oh, no! Oh, 24 no, no. This seconds. This is it. This is... What is this? It's All right, who's gonna to do it? it? Oh, this is really... Not being in control of this right now is... This is sort of terrifying. Okay. No! Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was really close. Shake your, your hand. Shake your hand. Wow, that's good stuff. Right. Very nice. Oh, my oh. gosh. That was so much fun. That I'm, is wow. You were. I need uh, to change uh, my shirt and pants. I am so hot right now. Different in five seconds. Yeah. I'm, eating my, I'm eating my words, Reiner. I'm sorry. I doubted you. <sighs> I did well. I did well. I did better than I thought I would. Yeah. Well, that's this week's episode of Replay. I thought that was a lot of fun, guys. Thank you, oh, Matt. Uh, Matt Burtz for joining us. No problem. And Joe Juba and Tim Terry as always. And congrats to Tim. Congrats hey, to Tim for winning and Thank Jason Easteriker for, for putting this together and walking us through Indiana Jones. We'll see you next Saturday, everyone. <laughs>